Hey, what's everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to get started on the Mofex Mandalorian Beskar armor. Now, we waited a long time for this. Super, 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 super duper delayed because, you know, we've talked about this a million times. Mofex stuff is getting so much better, but they are constantly, constantly delaying things. And this is no exception. So, we're going to get into the Mando. Um, honestly, I really, really like this piece. It's dope. But um, after sitting down and modding my SHF, like I'm out of the cave, I'm out of the neck peg. I'm I'm really, really happy with what I have. But if I didn't get those and I had got the Mofix one, I could easily say this piece is dope as hell. Um it doesn't compare to my modded one because I put time, effort, and love into it, so it's different. And that's kinda where a lot of people forget that that's why people kinda like what they like and they're stuck in their ways. Like when you put like a lot of work into something, of course you're gonna prefer it. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the Mofex is dope as hell. Um, I do have some gripes, though. So, we're going to go over those, too. So, let's get to it. Uh, Look-wise, I think this figure is absolutely phenomenal out of the box. Uh, it looks like he has a neck. Mine's actually looking down. But if I pick his head up, you actually see that there is a nice bit of space in between. The helmet is done really nice. The silver is done so nicely. Like, I'm not even sure this is going to translate well. Because when my the way my camera's picking it up right now with the light, it just looks phenomenal. Like it just looks really, really good. Not overly shiny, but also not like it's just that perfect blend of silver that just shines. The bandolier is no issue whatsoever. Um and it just looks and functions really well. I mean there are some issues there, but it overall the function of this is just really nice. Now, let's talk about it. Cape wise, I mean I think that's probably my first real gripe is that they didn't give us a fully integrated wired cape. Why? I don't know. Because the wire actually stops about right here. So you'll get a flow going outward and then just droops down. I'm not sure what was chosen here or whether or not it was supposed to be a wire here. Because you can see the lining. But they just, they kind of gave up halfway. And I was like, that's a little bit bummy. Uh, <laughs> because the other side is going to be held down by its bandolier. At least in my, the way I'm going to design it. Like I put the bandolier over you would want that long flowy cape so i think it kind of sucks that they chose to opt out of having that that long nice flowy cape the cape is nice but having it halfway really does take away from the ambiance of the figure because even trying to point it down it just it flops around in the back so that is what that is but articulation wise we have a really nice thing going on with mando so we can look up we can look down we can tilt left and right we can actually look left and right look the tilting there is so much space there, like it just it gives you a lot of room for expression. We can lift our arm up because our armor is on our arms. We actually have a butterfly joint that comes out and across. We can actually push in and leave her out just a tad bit. We can get our arms up into a T-pose. And I think probably the weirdest thing so far is the simple fact that the arms, the biceps swivel was so low because it, it places the armor. So the bicep swivel was right before the articulation cut. And our gauntlets do swivel, which I, I very much enjoy. I like the fact that they do that, that the gauntlets swivel, because it gives you that extra room for articulation. So as you can see here, you have a lot of room for growth. Now, my other gripe is that there is no actual midsection here for him. Like we have it, but they kind of made this all one piece. And why is because you actually get that lower, I don't know if you guys have ever bought this figure, but let's say it's SHF uh, Street Fighter Ryu. It's all at the bottom of the waist joint that allows for articulation. This allows your band layer to stay in one nice place as it's one wraparound piece. And it also gives you a little bit of room to move around your torso. But as you can see here, it doesn't move too well. And don't be scared. This is actually part of, in the instructions, of removing the bandolier. But I wanted to show you guys with the upper torso that even after I move it in we can tilt side to side but that bandolier is going to keep him in place so even here as we rotate we have a nice ab crunch but our problem is because the bandolier is there and the way it's designed you won't be able to get as much room without it I mean sorry with it <laughs> not without it with it because we can actually crunch forward we can move a little backwards and we can tilt to the side just a tad bit more than you could with the bandolier. But when we pop this back off and put our bandolier back on, 
and I actually took the wrong part of the torso off too, but <laughs> it still works either way. As you can see, I can put it right back on. And then we have our lower torso. I can actually show you this while we're here. It uses a little bit of the drop down method, as you can see here. This will allow your leg to get up because you're gonna have that leg armor in the way. But because it's soft plastic, you could push it in just a tad bit further, getting that nice movement. We only have a single joint. It's a little bit of a bummer. I was expecting MoffX to go the double joint route, but because our boot here is in the way, we actually only have that single joint. We can rotate inward, but not a whole lot on our joint. We can go forwards, but by rotating it, we actually can get better movement. You can get a lot more ankle pivot. So you actually have room to move around with this guy by wiggling your joint, rotating it to get some really nice ankle pivot. Let's pop that upper torso on because it'll look very long this way. But if you pose them up just right enough, you actually get Mando to look really good posing to the side because you also get the thigh swivel. So here's your Mando looking really good in his best star armor, best car, not best star, <laughs> the best car armor looking really solid despite his articulation limitations. The look on this guy is utterly phenomenal because of it. And I love that. I really do. Now, jumping into his accessories, this is where we get to have a lot of fun because he actually comes with a ton of stuff. So I'm going to back him up just a little bit. And we're going to talk about uh, his accessories. As you saw earlier, we have that one bandolier. We actually get a second bandolier for carrying our rifle. There we go. So this is your second bandolier. This one will have the piece for carrying a rifle and the back port opened. And then we have our rifle. This rifle is phenomenal. It's painted really well. It has length to it. It looks really good. You'll see that tiny port there. That's going to be where we hold our rifle. And you will plug it in at the top here. This tiny little port, which I'm always worried about breaking, but it's actually really, really strong. See, even dangling off, it holds really well. And this opens up here to hold your rifle in place. So you're going to slide that in. I'm just going to put this on. So part of me is like, man, maybe what if I can swap this bandolier with my SHF-1 and it'll look really good. I have not tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure for those who want to, they will. And I will say this, tabbing this in is scary, but 100% worth it because it does hold the rifle well. But I am having trouble on camera because the camera's in my way. So <laughs> I'm going to try one more time. And if not, I will show it in photos because I won't lie. Uh, doing things on camera make me nervous. Something about being camera ready. I'm just not ready for it. So shout out to Jess who, as an actor, has to do that all the time, man. For real. I was talking to another day. Just reminded me about him doing this. So as you can see here, like I said, we can have our rifle and bandolier looking really good. And I'm going to do it on the figure too, as well. We also have a satchel for our pistol, which I, we should talk about the pistol right now. So I said satchel. Wow. <laughs> A holster. I don't know why those kind of words, but yeah. So I am not sure what happened to the pistol, but I can tell at some point it was indeed its proper color. And I am going to bring up the idea that maybe it had some sort of chemical reaction while being delayed so long and there's nothing they can do about it. I'm hoping they issue some type of replacement part for it. But having a pink pistol, uh, it's not the best thing, but it's also not the worst thing. But I'm pretty sure if I learned how to paint or sent it over to a friend, it would not be a big deal. But the pistol is nicely done, but I can tell this definitely had some sort of chemical reaction to it. Then we have our blade that was seen in the series. And then we have a really nice flame effect. This is hella dope. And there is a posable stand for this as well right here where you won't be able to see too well because of the light but there's an opening for your pose and play stand the, f the promo photos definitely had me bamboozled because I thought it was part of the armor piece they did a really good job with those photos you'll also get a replacement hook shot slash grappling hook you're going to pop out the socket on your right arm 
which is the left here and you'll get this this is not bendy wired this is all one solid piece please be very aware of that it is one solid piece I repeat so please be careful and place it down flatly when not in use also you will get a baby Grogu who I've had sitting in the background for the longest and I kind of miss putting them in the background so this was a nice return to the uh, what we used to do here baby Grogu is dope and I think it's it's done really nicely whereas the we're gonna quick compare it to the SHF I think both are done nicely but I think one is indeed smaller than the other which is okay and one is sold as a separate figure because actually because it comes with other stuff here you just get a nice little statuette feature put him next to Ichigo lastly we will go oh, you do get one more bandolier piece this one for this bandolier it actually has the the latch down just a little bit further but you can swap it out and it shows that it's actually a little shorter as well too in case you want to just put that on a different way so it gives you options now we're gonna go over our hands and I really love again that they're doing this, this is so much fun <laughs> you'll actually get some pointing hands both left and right you'll get rifle holding hands you'll see these anchor out just a little bit towards the outside this will give you range when posing it up you have normal pistol holding hands and I do recommend with your pistol holding hands uh, you double check with your pistol because it could get a little loose I recommend if you want you can heat it up to close those hands a little bit we get some open action hands these can also hold certain larger items should you want to use other items from other lines more open action oriented hands direction clawing clenching things like that open palmed relax hands and your knife welding hands so yeah I really like what was done with the Moffex Mando um is it perfect no is it near it close enough that I'm very happy with what I got but a lot like I said a lot of people may have taken time to mod theirs do whatever and still prefer theirs and that's okay but again if you did not have a chance to get any other one and you got this one i do think for the most part you'll be happy with the majority of this figure because i am too so before we go we're going to jump into size comparisons and uh yeah talk about the happy stuff so see you guys in a sec all right guys on size comparison the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare my shf mando which like i said i've put a lot of work into and then we're going to compare uh, the Black Series. Oh, where's my Black Series? Where's my Black Series? There we go. <clears throat> and I've actually had a lot of fun with all of these. I've had, man, I've had fun with the Mando <laughs> and as general as a line. So it feels like the Black Series is probably going to be the tallest. Uh, the look is obviously going to go the Moffex. But like I said, the effort that I've put into my SHF, the cape, the neck mod, it really stands out for me. And I believe I saw Dorkler swap his Moffex head onto his SHF to make it look a lot better as well, too. So you have a ton of options of just having fun and swapping stuff and being crazy. But it also goes to show you that the sigil does not come with this one strictly because a couple of things. One, this one is referencing, I think, late season one versus season two stuff. Actually, not even late season one. It's referencing when he first got the best car. Period. <laughs> so it's like somewhere in the middle. But yeah, lots of options here. So let's take these guys away. Uh, ooh, let's do the SHF Armorer and SHF uh, Heavy Mando. And as you can see here, ooh, let's actually get you a little bit more focus. There we go. And these guys actually look really good next to him as well, too. So you can actually have fun mixing and matching your lines up with this guy. And I think that they'll work out really, really well. Next up, we're going to use some Black Series stuff. So here is the Black Series Harry Mando, which won't look. Actually, it does look just as good on camera. It looks kind of weird at first, but then I just looked a little harder <laughs> and it worked out. Here is my Black Series Boba Fett, which I think probably can have some cool adventures with these two looking really good. Then we have Bo-Katan, who looked tiny at first, but then next to the Mando, I think it really does even out. 
we have echo as an arc trooper which I'm just going to throw in there so we have some size reference here is a black series armorer his uh Ooh, 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 stand, stand, stand. Oh, here we go. And I was about to call him Apollo, like a crazy person. It, it took everything in me not to say Apollo out loud. So, so don't judge me. Here we are with an SHF Kamen Rider Kuga and another Black Series Trooper. There we go. I think everything kind of sizes out. I don't know. Just next to the Mando, everything kind of sizes out really nicely. Uh, here is an articulated icons ninja. Here is a mythic legions barbarian. And uh, oh, a mezco. So <clears throat> here is my hazard. Gomez with a crimson cranium head because you never know you just have fun so we have lots of comparisons lots of sizes but I think overall Mando is really really nice like it's really nice but if Moffex isn't your thing you don't know what you're going for you prefer your SHF or your Black Series have fun with whatever you choose to play with hopefully that you found this informative enough that you know what to do with your purchases going forward or just was entertained by what I did, and I hope it was. So as always, guys, please be good, do good, drink your water. Later. <laughs>